Kupe leads the Maori in Civilization VI Gathering Storm. According to Maori legend, the navigator Kupe sailed from Hawaii to the undiscovered land that would become New Zealand and remains a figure in many Maori myths still shared today. Kupe's leader ability is called Kupe's Voyage. The initial Maori units begin the game in the ocean and receive science and culture each turn before settling. When you settle your first city, you receive a free builder and extra population. The palace also receives additional housing and amenities. The Maori's unique building is the marae. This replaces the amphitheater in the theater square. It provides culture and faith to all tiles in the city with a passable feature, such as floodplains, and tourism after researching flight. The Maori's unique unit is the toa. This classical era melee unit can construct a paw improvement on hills, which provides a defensive bonus and heals units if they end their turn on its tile. Toa also have the Haka War Dance ability, which weakens adjacent enemy units. The Maori's unique ability is mana. They start with sailing and shipbuilding, and embarked units receive additional strength and movement. Woods and rainforests provide additional production, and fishing boats additional food. Fishing boats also acquire surrounding available tiles when completed. As the Maori, the world is your oyster and you will thrive with its blessings. Use your first turns to scout for a prime coastal location for your capital city, with plenty of woods, rainforests, and ocean resources. A series of paw fortresses will be your key to a strong defense, allowing you to embark on the victory campaign of your choosing without fear of conquest from another civilization. Will your empire flourish with the bounty of land and sea? How will you lead the Maori in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm?